going on folks? It is K Spade the Prospect back with a brand new Madden 20 online head-to-head -head gameplay and man would you look at here. Now I said something in the last video that when I got this game right here I said now look at this. Now you know you know what they say look at God. I said in the last video man I feel like the only thing that can stop me and the Falcons is me but and I meant like me playing bad but what I didn't think about is maybe the only thing that can stop me with the Falcons is somebody using the Falcons. I never thought about that. Now, if you missed the last video, it was a hell of a game. Make sure you watch it, even though I guess the spoiler is I'm still using the Falcons, so I guess, spoiler alert. But anyway, this guy right here was using the team that I use. I know their strengths. I know their weaknesses, if they got any. What I didn't know is how this guy was going to use them. Third and long, play action pass from Matt Ryan. He got a lot of time in the pocket. He goes across the middle of Julio Jones, of course. That's Matt Ryan's ability. That's Julio Jones's ability. And I got to be ready for that. I'm kind of upset with myself that that mess worked. All right? Neil going to knock the fire out of Devontae. But one thing I noticed about Devontae Freeman, he holds on to the rock. I don't think I have any fumbles with him with me using this team. And it's going to be a couple of big hits in this game. This dude is holding on to the rock. Now, first and goal, he's going to run it into the end zone. But something that I didn't tell you guys about the way my opponent played, he was super methodical. And you could tell, like, he had specific plays he wanted to run. Several times in this game, he took a delay of game penalty like he did going for the two-point conversion. He took a delay of game and still came out and ran his play, didn't get it. So, I guess he had specific plays he was looking for. Look at Devontae Freeman. Do your dance. Listen, somebody tell the team that work on Madden, Devontae wants an X. And he wants it under his damn feet. Now, we're not going to ask you anymore. We ask nice. Next time, we kicking the door in. Give my man an X, yo. He want an X. Anyway. I never seen somebody so slow with their play calling. Even when he would get plays off, oftentimes by the time he would break the huddle, it would be like 10 seconds on the play clock. It was just weird. I was like, it's almost as if this is his first time using the playbook, but I know it's not because he was coming out here executing. Now, I just said Matt Ryan's ability is to throw inside the numbers. Julio Jones' ability is post. So you see, I get Neil here. I'm expecting the inside post. I knew it was coming, and I played it wrong. I was real pissed off with myself right there. I just played too deep. I should have played a little more shallow. I was afraid of the pass going over my head. And while I'm talking about that old play, he comes back. That's the play I believe he wanted for his two-point conversion, and he converts it. So he's got a seven-point lead right now, 14-7. And I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a crazy game. Stay buckled in. He was bringing the pressure, but it didn't get there in time. I find my Julio Jones post routes don't always have to go to the inside of the field, fam. You can post toward the sideline. Julio gets in the end zone. He doing his dance on there. You know how we do. We got a 14-14 game, and I'm like, all right, cool. I haven't really done anything to slow this dude down yet. I got to get some stops. I got to prove I can get some stops. And right here, my boy, True Fine, True, True gets the pick. I was hoping to return that thing all the way inside the end zone. I get stopped around the three or four yard line. One play is all it's going to take. And there you go, man. I got Rutgers Finals right there. Muhammad Snoop diving across the end zone. He makes that catch. I said I needed to stop. I got to stop. I turned it into points. I'm feeling good. Neil still knocking the fire. He knocking the beeswax out of Devontae Freeman. Dreadlocks, man. Knocking the beeswax out that boy head. And this play right here had me tight. That's just how valuable Julio Jones is. I was watching Julio so much. We let Ridley get one-on-one -on -one and I don't know who on my secondary that slow, but somebody got some explaining to do. I don't like anybody getting smoked like that. At this point, I said to myself, self, but he got a play that he liked. Like that two-point conversion play, he went to it every time, and he was pretty damn efficient with it. So, okay, now, now I got to sit on that. If I see it again, I got to guard that tight end because apparently your computer backers, they just can't guard that route. I I'm on it, though. It take two times. If I see it twice, I got it. I downloaded it. Cool. 30 and inches. You see, uh, it's 10 seconds before the half. He's playing that prevent defense. I said, you know what? Let me just get in field goal range. Let me be smart. I get it back to start the second half. Cool. Devontae's going to get me, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, something like that. Sets up a 53-yard attempt, and I always feel like I go too far with the power. You know, if you go past the green and you get into the red, that's not a max power kick. I didn't get max power on it. I just barely missed that field goal, and he was going to try to return it. Uh, he thought this was Auburn, Alabama or something. You see, I'm Harris. I'm slow, but I'm taking that angle, fam. I'm like, ain't no way I'm going to let this guy get way back up here. So we go into the half, man. As you can see, we still got a tight game, but I was down one point. Come out in the third quarter, I still want to kind of establish the run, but I will admit, he was kind of taking the run away from me. I had that one big run early, but I just felt like 
I don't know. Maybe I let him bait me into playing his style of the game, but I was passing a lot. He was passing a lot, and so was I, all right? First and 10, I put it back on the ground. I'm juking. I'm dancing. Y'all know me, man. You know, I'm. hey, you get me in the open field, I'm tough to tackle. That's no lie. I'm serious. That That's no lie. First and 10, that's a great blitz call. The blitz gets to me. That's Deion Jones, man. I got, I couldn't get it off, man. He tried that earlier, and I got it off, but I could not get it off there. I might have had tunnel vision looking for Julio right here. Julio, I'm seeing you make tough catches for Buddy. Why you can't make tough catches for me? You can make that. I come back to Julio because that's what I do. Third and forever. You think I can't pick it up? Bam, first and ten. We got that. Dropping back with Ryan. This time the pressure was on. I get it off. Julio makes the catch. I don't like to see you shake True off, you know, and get in the end zone, but whatever. 12 yards was needed for the first. The blitz was right on time. I like this guy. His play calling was good, man. He kept me, he kept me guessing. And as you can see, third and 18, I can convert. I go back to the field goal. I still think I went too far in the power, but I just barely get it in there to take a two-point lead. And it's eight seconds left in the third quarter. So this is going to be another one of those games that comes down to the wire, and I'm built for it. I feel like I'm tried. I, I'm tried and true. I've been there. I've done that. All right? Third and short for him. Hey, man. I see Big 77. I just let him get around me. I got the speed with Deion Jones to run up behind him and make the tackle. Now, this is something that was weird to me, right? I was like, all right, look. He's driving. He's chewing up the clock. I want to try to strip the ball. And I know that's risky because if you do strip, obviously it works out for you. If you don't strip, you know, they, they miss the tackle, he can score. But that might not be so bad because then in a the clock management thing, I get the ball back. And, and I was kind of concerned about that, all right? They gave me an achievement for making an adjustment in the fourth, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I've done that before. I thought. Anyway, and I swear to God, I press Y, fam. Somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong on these. Why is it sometimes my guy does nothing? And you see, Dion was going for the chicken strips and couldn't get it. Fam, I don't know if they don't let you jump if you're out of range. I don't know, but I'm telling you, I'll be pressing Y. Trust me, y'all. Please believe me. I'll be pressing Y. Great run right here, man. He's inside the five. Third and goal. I'm, I don't know. Should I watch Julio? Should I watch this tight end that he likes so much? I don't know. He kept me guessing, and that's what good play calling does. It makes it where you don't really know what to expect, all right? Again, he was just sitting there chewing clock, but Dion, a whole beast. I see you. Getting back there. Former introduction. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, I'm Dion. What your name is? I don't care about that. Suggest so now. Boom. All right, so we have to use all of our timeouts, but we're going to hold this guy to a field goal. When ever he decides to finally kick it all right and he does boom so with that field goal i'm down one i got no timeouts left i know what y'all thinking damn spay how you get yourself in that situation i'm not even gonna lie if i was looking deep i might have had somebody else but it's all good that cool we go no huddle right here first and ten i drop back across the middle i hit my boy julio i did it for a couple of reasons one i know he'll make the play two i need him thinking that i'm looking for julio so when i come back and i hit muhammad sanu right here running out of bounds to stop the clock he won't be expecting it and then that boy froze me he iced me whatever it's called he sent me to kick the field goal man i can't really see i've been missing them shits without any help but this one is straight through the uprights Get your ass out of here, fam. We get another one. Draw the curtains on this, dude. What should I do? Should I retire these Falcons or what? Let me know, man. Like, I really don't know what to do. I feel like I just faced two heavyweight champs and I walked away with two belts. I'm about to get, I'm about to unify these shits, right? Anyway, man, that's another great game. Good teams find a way to win the ugly ones. We did it two times in a row. Man, I hope you guys are still enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying jumping out here in this water, man. If so, do me a favor, bang the like. It's free. Won't cost you a dime. And if you're new to my channel, you like this kind of stuff, you want to see more, consider subscribing. That's all I got for today, folks. I am out until next time. You heard? Yeah.